and uh, some great stories coming up in sports, Shane. Oh, oh, especially got a dynamite story coming from the interior we're going to get to. And a great moment from Cranbrook. A special hockey game was the talk of the town, a reunion and fundraiser held at the local rink. We'll have all the heartwarming details coming up in sports. Well, an absolutely fantastic story to tell you about now. A great example of why sports can be about so so much more than just wins and losses, goals and assists. Last night in Cranbrook, a very special hockey game and fundraiser was held. Our cameras were there as well. Karen Larson has our story. It's tradition, the team photo taken at the end of every big hockey game. But Thursday night in Cranbrook, this was also the image of a community rallying around one of their own. I just went through warm up. I'm already out of breath, so uh, it feels great. Feeling great is a welcome change for Dave Fisher. In January, he was diagnosed with ALS, the same disease that took his twin brother last summer. With the ALS, I feel really sad about it because my dad was staying for a long time and I hope he stays alive. Life expectancy for ALS sufferers is three to five years, which is why it was so important for Fisher to bring his two sons back from Toronto where they now live, to the place he and his wife grew up. In his younger days, Fisher was a member of the Cranbrook Colts and a former captain of the BC Provincial team. Over 30 former teammates also came back to Cranbrook from as far away as California to help out their friend. When you play together for so many years, you become one, one great big big family. You're always going to find that small communities support because everybody knows everybody and that's just what they do. And because Cranbrook isn't such a big place, especially if you're involved in hockey, Fisher's story made its way to Scott and Rob Niedermeyer, fresh off winning the Stanley Cup with Anaheim, also born and raised in this small town. The Niedermeyers not only invited Dave's son to join their hockey camp, they laced them up for the reunion game as well. We didn't know Dave personally before this, but um, you know, I'm sure we went down to the Memorial Arena and watched him play many, many games for the Colts growing up. Oh, he's a pretty heroic guy. He's, uh, um, here we go, here we go. See all the friends that are here, and, and uh, you know, guys that have that many friends are usually really good guys. Money raised will help offset some of Dave's medical expenses down the road, but perhaps more healing than that is the outpouring of love from old friends in a place called home. Karen Larson, CBC News, Cranbrook, BC.